So today I am back here at this mine to take a bigger sample, a better sample, crush it up and run it. Now for those of you who've been watching for a while, this is where I shot my very first video. We took two buckets or so of classified material, ran it through gold cube, got decent gold. But now I want to do a little bit more in-depth testing to see if it's got enough gold to be worth it or not. So I'll got some sandbags here, I think eight of them or so. I'll fill them up, we'll take it down the mountain, weigh them, crush them, and then we'll run it through the gold cube and see what we get out of it. Uh, I want to be able to weigh it before we run it, process it and run it. That way I can kind of get a ballpark figure for how much gold per ton a rock. I know it's not 100% accurate, but it'll give me a ballpark number and should be able to let me know whether or not we can keep coming back to this mine or not, or whether we just write it off and head on down to the next one. So I'm gonna get sandbags filled up, and then we're gonna take a hike up the hill there. I'm gonna show you why this mine is here and what you guys should look for when you're out in the hills. I was out walking the hills, walking up the and over the mountain from that mine we were just at. And that fire pit there is probably over 100 years old. There ain't a road in sight. No one drove up here. And then right there through the trees, it's a couple little prospect pits we'll go take a quick peek at. So here's the first little prospect pit. I know the lighting is not great. You can see some of the quartz vein running right up through here. And this is what they were sampling. It is the same one that that mine on the other side of the hill we've been poking around is in. This one was a little bit bigger. Doesn't look quite as mineralized on this side of the hill though. It's probably why they quit and moved over the hill. If it even was the same people. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. If you look on that side of the hill and over here, you have this grayish rock. It's kind of the host rock, country rock around here. And then right here in this little ditch is mineralized quartz. Now it doesn't look like much here on the surface, but if you can see some of this, it, it's pretty similar to what is in those mines and the samples we've been taking. Now this stuff's been on the surface for a long time. So I'm willing to bet a lot of the gold has been weathered out and you may not find a lot of it in the rock itself, which is why they went down the mountain and they were trying to get lower on the vein, hoping it would be a higher grade and they could make some money. But yeah, this little ditch here was the vein they were chasing. Kind of interesting. So we'll get the sandbags loaded up to the truck, down the crusher, and hopefully get them all crushed and processed before we run out of time today. We finally made it down the mountain. I got the crusher set up here, got the sandbags of rock to crush. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up and we'll get to crushing.
legs across rock here. Just run it through the gold cube. Put a little bit of, a little bit too much jet dry in there, I think. Pretty good bubbles in that bucket there. Some super fine powder. I don't know how well the cube's gonna do, but it should give us an idea of what was there, I hope. We weighed all eight of those bags across rock, and it came out to 275 pounds. And we ran it all, and we're doing a clean out now. And this thing, this is the top tray, all along here, along the top, is packed with gold. It is tiny though, which is to be expected. It's all crushed up. Um, even using a loop, some of the gold we're seeing is like smaller than a pin point, even when it's magnified, it is tiny. It's quite impressive that this caught it. I'm sure we lost some that small, but we'll get this cleaned out, see if we can pan it and weigh it. Probably smelt it into a little button if we have to. So I'll show you what we got in a minute. The gold cube cleaned out and a little pan of concentrates. We've seen some nice gold in there already. So we're gonna pan this down real quick. I'll save the tellings and repan it later more carefully. I just can't wait to see what's in here. And there are a million and one ways to pan. Everyone does it different. As long as we're getting gold is all that matters. Oh, we got gold. Look at all this. It's all over. That is nuts. That is tiny, tiny gold up there. I panned this so quick, I'm sure I washed a lot of that out. So I'll get this cleaned up, see if we can even get a weight on it. Probably have to melt it into a little button. But I will post pictures of that, and thanks for watching.